how can we allow for the space for both individuals to to grow in parallel at a different pace or regarding different aspects of their lives? And that is the million dollar question. Love to me is the million dollar answer. When we have that space of what here we call unconditional love, Mm -hmm. no box put around it that says, you must operate the same as I do. Mm -hmm. Be a mini version of me. So if I am navigating this personal development aspect of myself, you should be doing that as well. If I'm coming to know myself in this way, why are you, Austin, not doing the same? Mm -hmm. Or if we have decided to navigate the same personal growth journey, it doesn't become a competition, Mm -hmm. which we have definitely witnessed. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, have we witnessed. Couples will enter into, we're going to do this together because then we can support each other along the way. And healthy competition, there's nothing wrong with that, right? (laughs) It can actually fuel you and help you along the way. But when that healthy competition tips over into unhealthy competition, Mm -hmm. where you begin to actually either sabotage one another or hold each other back, then it becomes challenging. And so love comes in as the key to that. And it goes back to what we were saying about you loving me so much that yoga and seeing how it lights me up makes you so happy. And pickleball, seeing how much you love that, makes me happy because the base is love. And since I love you so much, when I feel love in you, that love then radiates back to me and we elevate in love, no matter what is feeding the love. Mm -hmm. And that's a huge aspect of it, where competition and we're doing this just to prove something to ourselves or to one another, well, that's actually more fear-based. You're going to get ahead of me, so I have to get ahead of you. And that detracts from love. Mm -hmm. Same with comparison, right? Right. Yeah. And so we need to find that place of love in our connection, love of self, which is what is truly fueling that personal growth, that journey that we desire to be on. I'm doing this whatever that personal growth aspect is, because I love myself. Mm -hmm. Silence your inner critic, right? That's the book. So excited. Mm -hmm. That's the book that we're releasing. And it's all around how that inner critic can take that personal development journey and suck it right into that fear-based versus that love-based, that inner champion. Yes, I'm here I'm doing this because I desire to be the hero of my own journey. And as the hero of my own journey, lift up the hero within others, right? If we know that that's what we're doing, we're doing it from the inner hero side, that inner love side, which means that we see heroes all around us as well Mm -hmm. and not competitors or especially in our partnerships. Like we do start to create distance between our partner when we start to see them as the opposition and not the collaborator. 